Hello out to all you wonderful people, this is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Game of Thoughts discussion. And this one is something I never really thought I'd ever actually be talking about. And I'm actually surprised that I have any thoughts on the matter. Mostly because there are a lot of hypocrites using this to their advantage now. That's that's probably the hilarious part about this, is that they're... Let me take a couple steps back before I say something stupid and people don't understand the context, which would be what makes it stupid. Okay. So, now there's this trend on Twitter, not Twitter, Twitch, for girls to be live streaming, playing games, and doing other things, but mostly it's like their butt or their chest is pointed right at the camera and they're basically playing to people's fantasies and getting imps because I can't say the other word on YouTube because it's banned apparently or gets you put in bad positions so I gotta say imp instead um (laughs) Um, yeah, that's not a good look. I mean, there are literally platforms where you could do that on. There's not a problem. The problem is it's Twitch was, which was mostly a streaming platform for video games. Yeah, there's other things on there, but there's a problem with the fact that it's being one is over sexualized and two kids watch Twitch. I think that's my bigger problem is that kids watch Twitch and there are legitimate platforms out there where you could do this and no one would be agitated about it. Actually, you probably surprise the hell out of a lot of people. If you go onto adult platforms and do this very same thing, it might actually get you more following, more of a following and more money. But the worst part is that there are some clear examples of women doing this that shot down girls that were doing far less on Twitch as far as sexualization of themselves to make money. And I'm like, hold oh, I'm scratching my head here. Like, how, how did this script get so flipped? I'm, hmm, well, that hurt my brain a bit because that, that, to me, that's completely illogical, completely stupid. It's fucking dumb. But then I'm like, huh. they looked at that almighty dollar and said, well, I can get subscriptions, I get people to pay bits and stuff into my Twitch, I can make some real quick money and I'll be set and I can do this real easy. Don't take me a whole lot of time, I just got to point a camera in a compromising position and I got to just talk the really low and slowly and in a very sensual voice. I'm not doing that, I'm just... You know, doing the whisper thing. But I'm like, uh, this, is, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Because you're just making it, making it... Like, just think about it. If, like, a little girl sees this. A little girl that's interested in gaming sees this. And she's like... So that's what the older girls do? And then she gets to be a teenager. She starts to develop her body. And she sees herself in that image, like... This is what I have to do. Or this is what makes it easy to get a few bucks. <laughs> That's a problem. Like, no, And I'm not going to be one of those guys that says that women shouldn't be sexy or whatever. And we shouldn't see them sexually. Because it's, that's just impossible to tell people not to do. It's actually very idiotic to tell people not to do. Because naturally we pay attention physically first. And then everything else comes afterwards. But it shouldn't be used on that type of platform where kids can be involved. And like, and yeah, sure, you can say, yeah, I can put on stuff that'll make it so the kids can't see it. But there are ways around it. At least if you're on an adult platform doing this, the kids shouldn't be there at all. There's less of a chance that you'll cross paths with children. Viewing that content. The 
there's less of a chance that you'll run into that. But like, and what's worse is like there, there's there's a difference between like somebody telling jokes and stuff like that, and being catty and things on camera, because you do have people that do adult industry stuff. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know why my tongue gets stuck to the roof of my mouth, but there are people that do adult industry stuff on those platforms, but use Twitch for its specific purpose. There are literally porn stars who play games on Twitch in regular clothes. I bullshit you not. They are on there. But then they do their adult porn, pornograph, pornographic stuff on those websites. So why why is it that we can't separate? And like and, and I will say that some of those porn stars are female porn stars and they, they don't use their sexuality on Twitch. They use Twitch as you know a way to connect with other fans that may have different interests or some of the interests that they have. And and I'm not saying they don't look sexy. I'm saying they're not promoting their sexuality to make money. There's two differences in those things. And I, but like in what we're seeing with the girls using their butts on the camera and rubbing the microphone against themselves for that ASMR feel and all that stuff, that's a problem. And I think, yeah, people will say, well, you shouldn't be gatekeeping. Some things have to be gatekept to a specific limit. You can't just let everything be in everywhere. One, it desensitizes you to a lot of things. And when you become desensitized to too many different things, you start to not care about them. And I mean care on a human level. I'm not talking about, oh, somebody ran into a wall, they'll be fine, so I don't care about it. Because, honestly, I'd laugh at that. But still, the point being is that there's too much of a push of putting your sexuality before your personality in that type of situation like it's like i guess that's where i'm looking at it at somebody's gonna say well you're a dude you shouldn't be allowed to comment on this that's cool for you to have that opinion that's not my opinion which is why i'm having this i'm doing this discussion i just think that it could promote the wrong messages in the wrong place like I said, you could possibly go on to tons of other, like there are tons of adult websites out there for this type of stuff. You could probably go on to an adult streaming website and do the exact same thing. And you might actually make more money on top of it not running you the risk of kids picking it up. I, I, but like That's what I'm thinking. Like There are other platforms for this type of content. And again, you might surprise the hell out of your audience doing it there. Or you might surprise a completely different audience doing it there. Because whether people like to think about it or not, guys that like video games also like sex. They are not mutually exclusive. You can combine things. Hell, somebody's bright enough. They could literally put together a platform for that. I wish I had the money to do it myself. I would have done it. But I'm just like, <laughs> y'all got the options to do it. But like, it, as stupid as it sounds, there's pornography where people will play video games while having sex. So there is an audience for it. Go to the proper platform. That's it. Just go to the proper platform. I'm not saying don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it on Twitch. Don't do it on Twitch or YouTube. Go to the proper platform for it. Why bring it to where it doesn't belong? <laughs> That's why I'm like, y'all, y'all got the option to take this where it should be. And you're not doing it. <laughs> you literally have the option to take it somewhere. It can, it can work. And you're bringing it to freaking Twitch of all places. Yes, Twitch is popular for live streaming. 
there are other platforms that are popular for live streaming for different reasons. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe, maybe, just maybe I'm making too much sense for the dummies out there. But also, I, I do need to address again the, the, the hypocrites that shit on girls that had their, you know, low-cut tops that would stream games. Because that legitimately, if that's all they were doing, that's not putting their sexuality first. That's just how they wanted to look. And yeah, there are some side benefits to it. I'm not going to lie. They, they probably do benefit from the dudes that just want to stare at their chest on the screen. But they also benefit because, you know, the majority of their audience is there for what they're streaming rather than them. Well, what they're streaming and their personality bleeding through over that rather than just their physical body being there. Separate the two. Separate the sex from, from twi Twitch. <clears throat> that, that needs to be done. It needs to be a whole separate beast. I wonder what it would be called. An adult version of Twitch. What would you call that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like my brain's running because I wish I actually did. do wish I had the money to set this platform up. I would do it in a heartbeat. Because I know I'd make a lot of money off of it. I know for certain I'd make a boatload of cash off of it. <laughs> Where it would just be videos and streams of girls <clears throat> doing what they want and making bank. And I'd make bank too. So, <laughs> I know somebody's going to be like, you're an asshole. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. But I, I just... I just can't reconcile... Well, I can't reconcile the thoughts because I know why they're doing it and why it works. But I'm just like, there's other platforms. And then I've said this multiple times now. There are other platforms where this would work and would be successful. Just go ahead and do that. And trust me, I'm... I'm pretty sure someone could look up a video of someone playing a Switch and getting boned at the same time. I'm... Very certain it exists. I'm not willing to look for it, but I'm very certain it exists. <laughs> just because the idea did, just popped into my head, I'm very certain it exists. So, <clears throat> I, I'm I'm still kind of figuring out, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll workshop that and see if I can run it by any of these companies. Maybe, hey, maybe that might be a thing. I don't know. <laughs> Just just to close it off. And, and not to play the, the joke game. Just to close things off. Look. You don't need to use your sexuality on Twitch. In order to. Make money off of it. That's not something that's required. And for the girls that don't do that. It does make it harder on them. I'm not going to lie. It makes it harder than, on them because then they'll have the viewers that get used to the girls that do it, and then they'll see this girl and be like, well, she's not putting her butt on display for me. She's not rubbing the microphone up and down between her cleavage, so I'm going to go to a different streamer. This one's just playing a video game. And the image of her is so small and in the corner. That sucks. Now, I'm not saying those girls won't get followers or anything, but you're adding strain to... People doing it legitimately. And yes, I will say legitimately. Because I think that this way of doing it is... It's like a cheat code. So... Yeah. They're doing it the, the straight and narrow. And, and you're, you're... You know, you're bending the system to your whim a little bit. But there were also, like I said before... There were also women that were... Very staunchly against... It. Someone having cleavage on stream and just talking and playing video games. Then to turn and flip and do the ex do an even more extreme sexualization of yourself for money on the same platform. 
I think I think that that's the person with the wrong opinion. Or someone who can't stand on their own opinion, I should say. And honestly, if that's how you are, at that point, I don't think that that person's worth the respect that they may have had before. Because they can't stand on their values. Simple as that. Now, if somebody feels like I'm being sexist, I can't help that. I know I'm not being. I'm just looking at this from a logical standpoint. And I, and I do think that this is just going to hurt things in the long run. Because once you open those doors, the floodgates, <laughs> once they're opened, it, like, there's not a whole lot that you can stop once that happens. Because if you, if you start banning one person for it, you have to ban everybody for it. So it's a real slippery slope, and that that could lead to the downfall of Twitch, honestly, whether they realize it or not. But that's it for me. I don't have anything else to say. Anybody wants to give their opinion on the subject, go ahead. I'm just, like I said, I was just workshopping it in my head while I was talking, and it's like some things just don't add up. So we're going to stop here. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me, and until the next time, enjoy your games, and peace out.